There is a question uh, someone has asked. Uh, does um, black magic uh, affect the devotees? And why not? Our Lord Krishna, he is dark complexion and they call him black in color. So the magic of the Lord's loving glances and his merciful glance on the devotees is always there. He always showers them. So who can escape that black magic? <laughs> and do devotees get affected by it? That was the question. But that, the intention was a different one. But devotees always see Lord's mercy in every situation. So if it comes to a question of black magic, immediately their mind is transferred to the dark complexion Krishna. So who can get saved from his magic? And everyone wants to uh, have the merciful glance of the Lord. So why not? But uh, now this is on the uh, bhakti side, spiritual side. But yes, uh, for non-believers, there is something that Maya offers the ill effects of somebody's uh, you know, uh, ill intentions, uh, not so good. So the this does affect and they call it black magic. But it is nothing, there is nothing called as a black magic. Magic is magic. What? How can it be black magic? So that is not so important. But yes, if uh, someone is a not a devotee, then he may get affected. Because if somebody's intention is to kill uh, the person, then who can hold him back? The person is with a bad intention will go ahead and kill the other person. He may even cut him into pieces and throw him away. That is the extent of jealousy and envy and deceit, cruelty that results into violence, intense violence, which even leads to killing others instantly in the mad rage of anger. So. People call this as ma black magic and that is the normal term used generally everywhere so many of them are affected by it not knowing uh, the cause of it and the uh, ignorance is the real reason behind it avidya so one who is in Maya and totally ignorant of the Lord's merciful nature or the worship of Supreme Personality of Godhead how will he um, understand the ill effects and it is very difficult for a person under bondage to tolerate anything because the instant reaction is revenge and this leads to a chaos and this leads to that person getting affected because it suffers the karma so if anybody is attacking you with a uh, with a ill intentions then you have to first recognize that this intention is bad and it is opposed to first of all if he is a bhakta it will come to his mind that this if i hit back my lord will not like i have to tolerate and what is a better way to tolerate tolerate does not mean that he will the other person will keep hitting you being cruel to you and you will not retaliate tolerate means you have to fight back that's what lord krishna told arjun in the battlefield of kurukshetra that you must fight so, uh, you must fight Maya because if it overpowers you, what will be your position? And if you win, what will be your position? But you have to, if such ill intentions turn very serious, then you have to work on that. You have to help other poor people, poor souls who are going to suffer for no reason under the spell of such you know bad intentions which are which are called black magic and they, the effects are very serious it could lead to a person turn lunatic and he could altogether get away from the society he would suffer you know isolation and he would not know why he does not like people he may get some type of fear or somebody looking at him and you know it is this bad intention that is holding that soul and using that person for his satisfaction of his evil intentions and those intentions do not even give any benefit as such in this material world nor in the spiritual world but that person is just enjoying when others suffer so such are the evil intentions and one has to 
if you are in position if you are a devotee you are, you are serving your lord you can pray to your lord to give you some energy to fight this out and that will be a service to your lord and you will also help that soul bring uh, you will help the soul understand the lord's mercy and the meaning it will give such a meaning to his life and he'll be saved for such a wonderful uh, you know he'll be saved for the eternity you can say it is possible so the what is the what they call the prarabdha prarabdha is nothing once you understand all this you will also go and worship that person will also go and worship lord so he will in turn again fight out this evil intentions for others so this is how the um, krishna consciousness preaching is going on preaching means uh, to help souls come to the lotus feet of the lord the lord krishna and this is the most uh, needed in our on the earth planet they say there is no uh, dearth of food and uh, food supply but there is this need of people hearing the mercy the story the past times the leelas of lord krishna and understanding how they are fortunate to have the shelter of such a merciful lord who is willing to you know he is willing to shower every benediction on the soul that surrenders surrender is not a condition but still he wants to make you know the importance of it so you are protected in this material world of all the dangers otherwise if you tend to be careless and then you become independent you will suffer such evil spell cast will overpower and they will reduce your thinking ability in a creative side and you will in turn get um, fav- uh, favorable with this anger the other all the traits of maya you know the cruelty anger jealousy and um, you know, all this uh, negative aspects of the maya and become uh, you are supposed to become a devotee not a uh, you know asur so these are all the asuri qualities so asuras influence causes all this and you must be saved so it is best to become a devotee worship lord and realize the importance of human life and helping other souls bring uh, helping other souls come to the path of devotion hari krishna